Nearly 11 months after the tragic October 7th attack in Israel, the Justice Department announced charges against senior Hamas leaders for killing more than 40 Americans. And it comes as protesters took to the streets in Israel demanding a deal to release the remaining hostages. CBS News' Jared Hill has more on this from New York. These actions will not be our last. Attorney General Merrick Garland with a stern warning after the Justice Department unsealed federal charges against six senior Hamas leaders for the killings of at least 43 Americans on October 7th. Garland says the department is also investigating the deaths of Americans, including 23-year-old Hirsch Goldberg Poland, as acts of terrorism. The 23-year-old was one of the six hostages found killed in Gaza over the weekend. We will pursue the terrorists responsible for murdering Americans Americans and those who illegally provide them with material support for the rest of their lives. The DOJ says Yahya Sinwar and a group of other senior Hamas figures financed, directed, and oversaw a campaign to murder U.S. citizens and endanger U.S. national security, alleging this group orchestrated the killings and kidnappings. Three of the defendants are dead. The others haven't been captured. <laughs> In Tel Aviv, another round of massive protests as thousands demand Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu agree to a ceasefire deal to free remaining hostages. Netanyahu, defying the outcry, points to the Philadelphia corridor as a key sticking point. He says Israel must keep troops in the narrow strip between Gaza and Egypt to prevent Hamas from smuggling in weapons. <laughs> Yesterday, Netanyahu's political rival, former Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz, pushed back saying the corridor isn't an existential threat and the hostages must be returned, even at a heavy price. Jared Hill, CBS News. And also yesterday, the Biden administration reiterated that it is working around the clock with allies to help reach a ceasefire and a hostage release deal.